Hi guys, Steve here. Community Crunch 401 dropped last night. Introducing Bob's Tall Tales. The most interesting thing's a picture, but let's go over its vague description first. Gather round a campfire, survivors. Everyone who's played has a story about the first Bob they've encountered on an arc. Now the legendary arc veteran Bob, voiced by Carl Urban. Have I missed something? Because I've never encountered anyone called Bob. From their description, it sounds more like a type of person than one individual I've never heard about. But them saying Bob's a legendary arc veteran that's being voiced over contradicts that. So it sounds more like a fake legend of a person, of stories that have been made up or passed on by other people. Veteran Bob is ready to share his incredible true adventures with you for the first time. Nothing can compare you for the wonders of a two-fisted action of Bob's tall tales. I'd never heard the phrase two-fisted before. I thought it meant something to do with fighting. I googled it, and it means tough, aggressive and vigorous. A two-fisted drunken man. Piece together Bob's larger than life arc saga by recovering his animated explorer notes. You'll feel like you're right there with Bob from the beginning, as he describes his pivotal role in arc's history to young Mika. We're planning to release the first animated explorer notes on March 31st. Pending certification, we'll keep you updated. So what it sounds like to me, instead of doing a normal survivor notes, that open up, do a picture, then as a voiceover explaining the creature, that if you're in combat usually gets you killed, the explorer notes will open up and show a short animated story. They'd have to be at least a minute long or it wouldn't be much of a story. And by the look of a picture, we'll have explorer notes of Bob's story on every map DLC. Is it going to be a short animated cartoon or more likely just a slideshow of what happened? Speaking of a picture, we know that Scorched Earth and the extra DLC packs coming out soon. And you might look at a picture and think, wow, that's good. Look at all that content we get in. They got trains, the new Oasis creature, Rock Drakes, an airship, cowboy clothes, a Mad Max type outfit, somebody riding a Velonosaur in new armor and saddle, and a crazy Mad Max vehicle. So will we be able to build cars in the game now? But if you look at it closely, you'll see. I say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Because if you look closely at the backgrounds, you'll see that it's not all coming out for Scorched Earth, because it's shown a different map DLCs in the background. In the bottom left, you have Scorched Earth, as you've got cowboy outfits, trains, and the Oasis creature. The Rock Drake won't be on it, because I took it to Scorched Earth once, and it was terrible at moving around. There's too much low, wide-open spaces, so there's barely any cliffs to climb up to to glide down. The airship isn't on Scorched Earth, as the background is out in space. It might be the surface of Aberration, or it might be from one of the Genesis maps when you're in space. So we'll be getting the airship pack when that map DLC comes out. Oh, and that guy on our left isn't Rockwell, unless they've done a Netflix and turn him Indian now. The centre top is Scorched Earth. As you can see, the sandy cliffs in the background. The Jabera is on the shoulder, and she's wearing a cowboy outfit. We know that's coming to Scorched Earth. In the top right, we have the extinction map in the background. You can see the towers and the domes. Looks like we'll be getting an Apocalypse Survival outfit skin. Then we look down in the bottom right and we've got the Velonosaur, which we know is an extinction, with a new metal saddle, but the biggest surprise is a crazy Mad Max type vehicle. It is driving on sand, and there are sand areas on extinction, but it is rocky as hell, so I'm not sure how it's going to work on there. We're showing it driving on the flat desert surface, so maybe it'll be scorched earth, but we're unsure on that one. So yeah, this looks like some of the content we'll be getting stretched out between all the DLC maps, not just in one pack. On other news, Scorched Earth is meant to be coming out at the end of this month, so place your bets below when that's going to be delayed to. And a new ARC animated series is coming out on Panamount Plus. I don't know what it's like in other countries, but in the UK we've got to install a crappy downloader just to watch it on a computer. You can't just watch it on a browser like you can with Netflix. And that's the ARC news of any worth. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and share it with your friends. Click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. Thank you very much for watching and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye.